April Jones talks about bringing women over to Omarion's section in the club. It's like, I be having to be like, I'm the girl that's like, it's all good. Like, I was looking. That's how I knew you was looking. But just, you just got to be honest about that, you know? And then it'd be like, oh, for real? And it's like, yeah, be for, like, for real. But like, I saw too. So, she was cute. <laughs> you can't deny what looks good physically, you know? Like, aesthetically, when you see something beautiful, you can't be mad that a man's eyes are drawn to it. I mean, for Christ's sakes, your eyes are drawn to it too. So, it's just like... I'm just saying, that's the motherfucking truth. Y'all need to stop running from feelings because y'all the same people that be doing that and then be lying like because you're just jealous or insecure. So like, stop, grow up. This is this is the this is the point in time where you got to do the self healing work and start being honest with yourself. You may not like it only because you feel insecure and you don't want your man looking at that, but you looking at it too. Stop. We got to stop. There's times when I used to be like, <laughs> she got a fat ass and I ain't got a fat ass. Like, I'd be mad. And it'd be like, but why am I mad? Like, because I was jealous. It's the only reason why I was mad. <laughs> I've been there. I'm only speaking facts, people. Well, it's just the truth. I do not wear Fendi makeup. I'm trying to think... I wear Fendi like the, the, the sparkle stuff that she has. And then I did use Fendi's moisturizer and a face wash, but it like dried my face out. So I do not use it anymore. It just wasn't moisturizing enough for my skin. My skin is pretty dry, I feel. Um, yeah, I'm talking about back in the day when I was younger. No, never. Come on. I was the girl when I was dating O at that time back in the day. I used to be the one that was like bringing girls to the table. Like we, it was fun, you know? So no, it wasn't that relationship. And it wasn't the relationship with Drew. I actually have dated many other people. Okay, I did have a life before that. Okay. <laughs> so just to answer that question, you wasn't those people that you think of, guys. Okay. Talking about when I was younger, all right? Like younger, like 18, 19. I wasn't dating him at that age, okay? You know, folks grew up around that time. Folks grew up, right? <clears throat> God, y'all be so funny. So yeah, let's answer your question. That was the woman question. Love you guys too. Um, anything else you want to ask? Anything else? Are you a glizzly Glizzly gobbler? What is a glizzly? I've never heard that expression. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck that is. Who's a glizzly gobbler in here? Hi, Trinidad. Yeah, like you know when you out partying and your man is in the club, like you like, and he's an entertainer, and you bring girls to the table, so it's a look for your man. What you mean? Yes. The f it's a look. Bring the most beautiful women in the club. You got free bottles. You popping bottles with these. Women and you, you're having a great time. That's how you do it. It's fun. Have fun. Live your best life. <laughs> what do you mean bringing people to? The yes. You have a table for a reason. And it can't be empty. It's like, I'd rather bring them and rather than just come to the table. Excuse my French. I'm a myself. Not in them terms. But y'all know, because y'all be taking things emotionally and sensitively. Um, but when you bring these women to the table... They come to the table anyway, like, you know, so it's either you're going to bring them and let's have a great time or they're going to come and they're going to be like expecting to come to the table. It's like, just let them in. All the beautiful girls. Come on. Have a great time. Yeah. That was like back in the day. Almost 10 years ago. That was when I was in my 20s. When I was 20. Having fun back in the day. Um... I'm in my thirties now, so we'll just keep it there. I'm 30. Y'all been telling me to stand up for too damn long and I'm not standing up, okay? And would I dye my hair blonde? No, because I'm allergic to hair dye, so I can't do with my hair. I would have to put a lace front on. Which sucks, by the way. Do y'all want more piercings? Probably. I'm not exactly sure where though. 
maybe on my ears. Oh, I did want to do one like through here like that. So maybe I'll do that. Do I speak another language? Ni hama. Hola, como estas? Mi amor. Mm, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Where am I from? Chicago, Illinois. Born in Germany. Raised in Cincinnati as well. And now Los Angeles, California. I'm just waiting for some good questions. I'm sorry, Miss Honey, what you ask? Yeah, because my, now my body is like, I don't know what that was. I don't know. I've worked hard to slim down and be healthy. I think I'm 137, pretty small. I was 163 before. Like you can see my from the front of my body. Now it's like a model-esque and you know, you can see my clavicles. Yes, yep, yes, hold on. <laughs> oh, you know, when you just like, when you just work so hard, you just feel yourself, you just gotta. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My kids love watching Spanish. Is there anyone else? Because I, let me tell you something. I love me a good Spanish show. So I'm about to tell y'all three shows to watch on Netflix. El Dragon, El Club, and Sexual Desire. You got to read the subtitles, but I'm telling you, I love me a good Spanish show. I, these are like, I'm on a Spanish kick right now. You gotta put Lilo in there? Okay. Good job, mamas. I love you. Sexual Desire is the best. It's such a good show. Oh, Elite's good too? I did watch Bridgerton. Spectacular. Um, uh, oh, Your Honor. Woo! Y'all gotta watch Your Honor. It's on Showtime. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.